An engineer says he's found a way to overcome Earth's gravity. Welcome, I hope you enjoy then subscribe and like. In recent years, the pursuit of propellant-less propulsion systems has intensified, promising revolutionary advancements in space travel. The latest contender in this arena is an electrostatic design developed by a former NASA engineer, heralded as a potential solution to overcoming Earth's gravity. Exodus Propulsion Technologies, the company behind this drive, claims that it can generate enough thrust to counteract gravity, marking a significant departure from conventional propulsion methods. However, such bold assertions necessitate rigorous independent verification and a healthy skepticism, considering the fundamental laws of physics at play. The concept of propellant-less propulsion isn't entirely new. In 2001, British engineer Roger Shire introduced the M-Drive, sparking both excitement and skepticism within the scientific community due to its purported reactionless nature, contradicting established principles like the conservation of momentum. Despite initial optimism, extensive testing over two decades ultimately deemed the M-Drive unfeasible by 2021. Now, Charles Buhler, a former NASA scientist and co-founder of Exodus Propulsion Technologies, claims to have developed a drive powered by a new force that defies current understanding. Buhler emphasizes that this discovery is independent of NASA and represents a breakthrough in electrostatics, enabling thrust generation without expelling mass. Buhler's team, comprising individuals from esteemed institutions like NASA, Blue Origin, and the Air Force, has been researching propellant-less drives for years. After numerous iterations, their electrostatic-driven device reportedly achieved the milestone of overcoming Earth's gravity in 2023. However, skepticism looms over Buhler's claims, given the history of propellant-less drives like the M-Drive, which initially showed promise but ultimately failed to withstand scientific scrutiny. Despite initial excitement surrounding the potential of such technologies, rigorous third-party research is imperative to validate these claims and ascertain their feasibility. While Buhler's assertions offer a glimpse into a potentially groundbreaking development, caution is warranted until substantiated by comprehensive scientific validation. For now, the electrostatic propulsion system remains an improbable engine, awaiting further scrutiny and verification. Thanks for watching.